hello and welcome to a brand new season of Akuma MC Skyblock. Now I'm gonna get started here by doing all the normal things that I do, which would be, I believe, reclaim is one of the- is that a- no, that's- sorry, that's uh, only for prisons. And I'm gonna be making my island and then I'm gonna briefly go over some of the new changes that they have made on this season. But before I do that, like I said, let me create an island. Uh, <clears throat> forgot I gotta do that. Yeah, let's just do the OG island, because I think it'll just be nice and simple, and I'm, I'm probably not even going to deal with, like, the area down there. I'm probably going to build a pond somewhere else, so it doesn't really matter. Well, first of all, we got this. Island value station. Island TFF weekly value total value. Interesting. So we can deposit value blocks. Iron, gold, diamond, emerald, beacons, and dragon eggs. I don't entirely know what that means. There's a lot I gotta figure out, but a lot of it I'm gonna figure it out as we go along. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and briefly, like I said, go over some of the changes, and then we'll hop right into it. Now, they have adventures, to, uh, number one, which is replacing the quest system. There's island beginners, which we'll be covering in a little bit, miner, farming, lumberjack, grinding, and fishermen. So they went with more of a skills path this season, which is super cool. The previous island upgrades have been replaced with island stats, which you get points to upgrade and i'm not entirely sure how you get them by leveling up your island sorry that is the next thing island levels you can level up your island by mining farming fishing logging grinding stuff like that there's still skills but they've changed the way that it works it no longer has the ultimate skills and you get a reward per level there was a change to spawners as well making it so that a lot of the early game spawners cannot be automatically killed at least by fire mission contracts which is actually a pretty big one i'm gonna go ahead and cover that one so these are things you can get while grinding anywhere ranging from easy to extreme challenges which gives some ins insane rewards now a lot of this i'm going to cover later on in future videos but i'm at least giving you guys some of the rundown other than that i don't think there was any major changes other than robots the robots now have a tier system of common rare and legendary i think i got the best of everything oh i forgot to throw this in the trash oopsie that's okay some experience more experience more experience oh okay i did something i guess oh this looks like a lot uh open 10 keys open one airdrop have a balance of 2.5 million so a lot of this is just gonna happen naturally I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put this up for now. Let me open up these airdrops and we'll start from there. So let me open up these two epic ones first and see what I get. And oh, that almost, all right, uh, reminded me, I almost forgot. I've got $20 I can spend. Or sorry, $30 I can spend. So I'm gonna to to spend the coupons that I had from last season. That should come in any minute now. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Um, I got some spawners, which is pretty sick. I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily put them up in my pv because i don't want to mess with them right now we got a mission contrast oh i get to select it okay let's start off with an easy one that's uh that's a good idea uh farm 1000 weed on your island open five enchant books that's uh warp enchanter have a balance of one million dollars Ooh, okay i've got v kid clusters and i've got uh these beautiful pet eggs let me open up these six pet eggs i'm actually gonna save these for a second i want to use my keys after this but before that, let me actually clean up my inventory a little bit. I won't need my fishing rod on hand. Um, I won't need my axe on hand. So pets are different this season. For one, they level up as you use them. For two, they're divided up into categories. So we've got mining, which I've already got a rare one right here. We've got farming and fishing. Let me get some of these keys figured out. I forgot there was a new key system as well. That makes sense why the crates uh, are, are physical now, because there's a whole new system, which I can go ahead and uh, bulk open the keys and get a bunch out of it. Okay, that's kind of sick. You can actually see on the right side as well. I got 50 times gems package, 3 times money package. Uh, I didn't see the rest because it moved way too fast. I did get a speed book. Bam! money which is always good i'm at 1 million already 1.9 million and 17 of those oh my money gems gems blaze spawners and iron goblin spawners and also a pet egg now a lot of these i can put up i can put up the fishing pet i can put up the logging pet i can just keep these three i don't really need them but i can keep them pretty sure these guys i can't manually kill either yeah i uh, i didn't i didn't think so which means I need to kill them with lava. Do I have any lava? I don't even have a bucket. You're gonna die, right? Thanks, buddy. I, uh, really need that. So what does that sell for? $7.5. So for now, I'm just gonna put these guys up along with the bucket. I've got more things to open. Three V-Kit clusters. Let me see what they give me. 
common fishing robot, ran uh, random rare enchantment, and an XP booster. I've got more keys, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up this beautiful start of the world crate. Here we go. Three, two, one, bam! Please, come on, come on. Five pet eggs. I got a legendary gems pet. Ooh, that's one I want to keep on me. What happened to my other one? Oh, it was this guy. I was like, what happened to my other one? He's right there. I've got more keys now. That's kind of great. Pig spawners, zombie spawners, and blaze spawners. Okay. Interesting. And of course, there's skill levels, enchant related stuff, and different other things. Okay, interesting. You want know I can do, though? I can turn on my grinding pet. Who is super freaking adorable. Oh my god. 30,000. I mean, 30,000 is pretty good. I can set up a little bit of a farm. Which is probably a good idea because I don't have much going on otherwise. Oh man, they really changed the economy for this brand new season of Akuma. But it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. It's going to be a lot to learn. I know it's going to be a lot about skills. Which is very interesting. I can't wait to actually check that out. And that is a quest completed. I'm not sure half the rewards, but it, it feels great. I'm just playing and I'm getting rewards for it. I guess with gems being like less of a thing for pets, or not even a thing at all for pets, we'll probably get a um a lot more, right? Or how? I mean, we'll use it for the good things. I don't know, dude. Level two, uh, beautiful absolutely beautiful and now i can do slash skills go to grinding and that is three chicken spawners i believe that is enough it is not yay pig spawners you gave me more pig spawners isn't that beautiful guess i might as well activate this uh i was gonna say can my dog fly no he just falls into the void huh dude that's so messed up he just tries to get to me but he can't he just stays below me let's throw fortune on there and can i throw transfuse i can't. Oh, transfuse isn't for this, is it, anymore? It is for an axe. Why is it so... Oh, because they never changed the dialogue. Now, one thing I'm very sad about, they did actually get rid of the precision mining enchant, which was a very huge enchant for me uh, to make mining so much better than it already um, is. It's pretty good, but it's very slow, and the enchant helped with that. Well, hopefully we can level up our skill pretty quickly. I want to get through some of these quests. Um, what actually are some of the quests? Let me deactivate my pet for a minute. Obviously, mine a bunch of ores. Leveling up. 32 coal ore from your cobblestone gen. Oh, I see. There's also these we can get. Okay. So is there still island mastery? That's one thing I didn't even consider. No, it looks like they did get rid of island mastery. Ah, I see. We have to get to certain levels before we can unlock them. This is a completely different Skyblock experience, which is what I absolutely love about Akuma. Uh, Akuma? Akuma. <laughs> they uh, they do these 2.0, 3.0, so on and so forth uh, releases that are absolutely massive. They change so much each time. It makes sure that every uh, few seasons you're going to have a completely unique experience. I did, in fact, just level up my island. I still don't know how to see how, you know, it levels up, but I did get one stat point from it. Oh, this is how we get to the higher tiers. It's not based off of the skill level. Okay. I think crop growth speed is going to be the most useful for me. I'm also curious how this is going to be in terms of money. I hit level 5, which means I'm on the iron area. Let me go ahead and sell all of that. That is 183,000. That's actually pretty, pretty freaking sick. I have a feeling an automated farm is going to be absolutely massive. So that is definitely something I want to tackle in the near future. I've got books to open. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there, buddy. Miner's helper, efficiency, and treasure miner. I actually don't even have max efficiency. So I'm going to take efficiency and I'm going to throw that on my pickaxe if it'll let me. It will not. You know what I could do, actually? It's not going to be as efficient, but it's still something. I'm going to set him up like this, and then I'm going to go to shop, go to miscellaneous, and I'm going to buy two chests. And I'm going to set these up just right behind this guy. Level three, let's go! I don't know if that gives me anything good. Let me see. Also, there's no more pouches. They got rid of pouches. Oh, I can. you can actually see on the um, the right side... What percentage I'm at towards my next island level? I'm at level 2, 65%. That is super freaking awesome. Love that. I'm actually going to go and get this out of the way. Let me actually 
build a little bit of an area here. I want to build like a um a uh, a, a, a pond. Is it going to be good for money? Now I know in previous seasons it was. I just don't know if it's going to be. Oh, forty-three thousand, huh? I kind of like this. Now here's why. I can sit here, fish, make a little bit of money. Then I get bored of it. I go smack a few mobs. Then, once I'm run out of mobs, I go check my crops, I farm it up, and then return back to fishing, or I could also do mining. The only thing is, I don't think mining is going to be that good, is it? But I have another stat. Let me see. Island stats. Is it going to cost one for this? Or no, it goes in. It goes higher. Actually, I could up my fishing level. Let's do that. Why wouldn't I just up my fishing level? If I'm leaning into fishing, which is a crazy thing for me, because I rarely lean into fishing. But if I lean into fishing, I might actually make a bunch of money. I'm almost grinding level 5. That's pretty freaking sick. I like a lot of what this season has. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of work figuring out how I do the content. But I think it's gonna be fun trying to figure it out. And if you guys are excited for that, and if you're excited for a brand new season on Akuma MC, make sure, number one, you join the server. All the information is down in the description below. Gotta get that sick, nasty level 4. 80,000 for that fish? Oh, that's sick. So it's gonna cost more to upgrade the fishing level, huh? Level uh, 3 stats now. Mmm. Okay. Let me go and upgrade my cobble generator, because I kind of wanted to test that out on my island. But before that, let me do slash skills, go to this, claim my reward. I'll go ahead and put it up for now. So this counts for our skill, which means actually I should go ahead and activate the mining pet. I'm going to put the cobble up because I'm probably going to need cobble for building, so I want to save that. But I'm going to go and sell the iron ore. It is getting my skill up, which is nice, but this is kind of very slow. I'd much rather, I think much rather do this mining at the mining area. It just makes the most sense. So I want to store that up. I want to go ahead and actually store that up, up as well. Do a little sell-all. That is 4,000. That's like not even, not even worth it. I haven't even checked any of the other quests because honestly, a lot of the quests are just going to happen automatically. By the way, that was $242,000 from that single fish. Absolutely insane. I could upgrade the potatoes ahead of time. The only thing is, can I afford to plant potatoes? I'm going to upgrade to the next tier, which gives me access to potatoes. Absolutely beautiful. So I can buy some potatoes that I can plant down uh, here later on. Let me activate my farming pet. I'm going to go ahead and chop through some of this wheat. I'm going to ignore the ones that aren't fully grown because I want to get them later. I'll just leave the unfinished ones and I'll deal with them later. That's actually one of my challenges done. I forgot about that because I had to get wheat anyways, which is a good thing that I went ahead and did that. Oh, another adventure completed because we planted potatoes. I've got a lot of these spawners, but a lot of them are just manual ones, huh? So you know what? If I'm not going to mess with them, I'm pretty sure that I can scrap them or something, right? I can sell them back to the shop, which means I can do sell hand. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually really sick. Interesting. So the, the economy split up a little bit. 10 million for a blaze spawner, but less for the automated spawners. Oh, man, but that's going to take a lot. I think I just save up, right? I mean, eventually I'm going to set up an automated farm that should be pretty decent, uh, I think. I think, though, that this is where I'm going to go ahead and call this video here on Akuma MC Skyblock. Guys, join the server. All the information is down in the description. The number one prisons in Skyblock server of 2024. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one for some more Minecraft and other stuff here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.